He showed me his injuries tonight, and they are significant. He says around six shots were fired at him, one going through his eye socket, changing his life forever. Despite those horrific injuries, he feels that the commissioner in today's hearing ignored his impact statement in court. And it went through my eye and broke my nose. Terry has had a hard time adjusting after losing his eye to a bullet in November. And then they just took off and started firing. It happened during what he believes was an attempted carjacking as he exited the freeway. And it came kind of through my, my, my skull right here and then went through my eye and then hit my nose, broke my nose and then came back here and kind of rearrange my teeth a little bit. Before the shooting, Terry says the same teens were caught on camera accused of attacking a woman at the nearby Winco before stealing her car and purse, with two suspects also seen inside the store prior to the robbery. I, I think they were trying to steal my car because from what they had done at the Winco. Wednesday, the 15-year-old suspect faced Commissioner Karen Watson at Raymond Hall. Terry says he pleaded with Watson not to release him. I, I, I do not think he should be released because of the fact that uh, I got shot in the face unknowingly getting off the freeway, that if he's going to shoot somebody unknowingly for no reason, I, I, don't, I think he's a danger to society and the rest of the world. His wife telling the commissioner they are close to losing their home. The water shut off. The electricity shut off. He can't work. After Terry's plea, the teen's mother made a plea of her own to release the teen due to a medical condition. He has a heart condition and a bunch of other um, medical serious conditions that he does have a bunch of life-saving things that he has to do. Prosecutors argued against the release, saying there was no proof of those appointments. I mean, there are strong feelings on both sides of the equation, and I can understand that. While weighing the release, the commissioner noted there was a case pending against the teen out of King County from December 2023. I do take into consideration that these occurred in November. Um, but there was a subsequent charge that did occur in um, December for felony harassment. Still, because the teen had no additional offenses in January and February, she decided house arrest was appropriate. So in light of the fact that there's been nothing in January or February, we're into March right now, um, the fact that there can be 24 hour supervision at home and there are considerations for both mental health and um, medical appointments. I will order electronic home monitoring with a metal brace bracelet. Um, I believe that that is sufficient to ensure the safety of the community. Terry was so frustrated, he left the courtroom. Because when these teens get out and kill somebody else, I feel like she should be responsible. Because if she's the one making the judgment, um, I think maybe she should be responsible if the kids go out and commit crimes because I think the, the place they need to be is in jail and not home with the mom that let them out to do it in the first place.